Hi, welcome to Techie Talks AI. Today what we are going to see is how we can use this amazing new model that Microsoft launched called 5.4 locally on our computer. We'll see four different ways we can run this model on our computer. Now for this we will use Olama. Essentially this video is about how we can use Olama in four different ways. So we'll use one of the very interesting LLM model that Microsoft released just two days back. So let's start. So this is the uh, Olama page. So if you visit, if you visit olama.com, you will find the link to the models that Olama has. If you click on it, you will see the most recent one all say newest if you put select newest you will notice that we have 5.4 from microsoft and in fact updated yesterday so this is the latest model and you know this has 14 billion parameter so a reasonable desktop computers can run this so that is what we are going to see now i have got a macbook pro series which is not very new so quick explanation of what is Olama. It's not clearly understood by everyone. We all know Docker. Docker is a containerization technology that lets you run virtual machine like environment locally on your computer. So on supposing this is your computer, what we do is we install Docker and then once we install Docker, we download and keep the doc images each image is nothing but a template to run containers so now from these templates when we say docker run we pick and run it all within the docker engine now when it comes to olama olama also is similar to it like normally these llm models you can't run locally okay so now olama makes this possible in a very convenient way so this is our computer and we download and install olama it doesn't take much space by default but let me represent it this way now there are different llm models of different sizes from various companies right so the models that can be run within Olama are available in the Olama website. So here you will notice that we have hundreds of models which are available which we can run within Olama. So now what we need to do first is we need to pull these models into Olama. So we download and keep these models in a folder in Olama. I will show you where that folder is going to be and I'll show you the command that we will use to run it and after that when we want to launch model we will say Olama run just like docker run so from here we will run a model and depending on our need we could run multiple models but remember it will take your system resources so you need to see you need to ensure that you run these models only when you want to access them. Okay, so Ola run and once you are done with it, you can say Ola must stop. So essentially this is the idea. But the thing is, once model is running in Olama, we can access them in multiple ways. So that is what we are going to see in this video. Now, before we proceed, we just tell you what are these ways. One is using Olama's command line interface. So we will see that. Second is using curl command. Again, command line interface, which can come handy for your shell command based automations. Okay, and then the third is you can download chat GPT like web interfaces onto your desktop, whether it is Windows or Mac, and you run it and then connect it to Olama and then you can access Olama features through the web interface. So it works like ChatGPT. And fourth is 
you can write python scripts to access the olama api we will see all these and for this we will use docker we will not install any python modules locally we will use a docker container in the phase also we will use docker okay so it is very easy to run it you don't need to install anything on your machine other than docker engine and olama and for these two you don't need anything like python or anything you don't need anything you only need a terminal access clear so with this much background let's get on so first thing i have already installed olama it is very easy to install download olama from olama.com website and double click and it gets installed and once it's installed you don't notice anything because there is no ui for olama okay you can start and stop from the max top task bar but we will use command line so first thing what we will do is when we install olama there is a command line util utility olama this is a tiny command line utility just like docker olama list will list the modules that we have downloaded into our computer so your home directory will have a dot ola folder that will contain the the modules manifest and you will notice that all these modules are available in this folder we don't need to know this but remember that there is a place in your laptop or desktop where these modules are actually downloaded and stored so if you look at the space usage of these modules you will notice that dot olama modules blobs folder has content of these modules so here you will notice that these models have all these files okay so let's clear it so at this stage all we know that there is a command line utility that comes with olama and there is a folder where we download and save the models now olama if you want to download a model you go to the website and find the name of the model and you if you click on it it will give you the command that you need to run so olama run 54 clear so olama i don't want to run it i just want to only save it so this is the command that i will type olama pull 54 and if i want to see the modules that are running i can say olama ps just like docker ps or docker container ls so see this there are no models running now we are going to see the first way of accessing olama using the command line okay so for this you just type olama run 54 moment i run model gets activated and your system resources will start your system resources will start reducing because olama will take resources okay so i am running it and now we have a prompt here and if you say slash question mark it will give you the available commands we are not going into olama now our idea is how we can download 54 which is the latest and most powerful model that one can easily have access to on our computer so okay so what is 2 plus 2 we are not going to ask any complicated question because we are not here to test the capability of 54 you see the percentage cpu increased when i asked the question okay and here got the reply so to exit we just type buy and if you look at the running models you will notice that i have five latest running but we don't need to keep it running we can type olama stop 54 okay so now that is gone so we saw one way of accessing the model locally using olama's interface next is again using command line but this time we will use curl command so this will help us in automation okay so 
So this is the command that we will use and here if you see this is the end point that here we have the payload that we are passing to the model. These two parameters we are not sending it to the model now. L let's see how this works. SH, let's run this. See, see just for this question what is 2 plus 2? It gave these many output chunks and finally it gave the answer. See here, here we have the answer. If you want to get all the information in a single shot, we can pass a parameter stream equal to false. So it will wait till it gets the entire response from the model and then only it will give the output. So let's clear the screen and run it. Okay, it needed comma here. So it's waiting for all the tokens. And finally, it got the response. See this response 2 plus 2 equals 4. But it has got additional information. Okay, now if you don't want all those additional information, what we can do is we can pipe the output to a command line utility called JQ, which is a JSON parser, and just pick only the response element from the JSON. So let's run it. See, just the output. So now, once you know how using a shell script, you can access a model like this locally, then if you if you are good with bash, and now even if you don't know bash, you can ask ChatGPT to create any type of command to automate it. So this is very powerful for your local automations. So two ways we saw. We saw how we can access model using Olama's command line utility. Now we saw how we can access a model using curl. Now the third way is using Python. So for this, like I said before, I don't want to install anything locally. So we will use a Docker file to create the image, what we need. I'm using Python 3.11 Docker image. app.py is the application that we will run within this Docker container, which is nothing but a Python environment. So if you look at app. you will notice that it is a small Python file. It has only few lines. So this is the Python script. And if you see see this, the model we are specifying and the endpoint we are specifying. But if you notice, the endpoint is different. Why? We should have used localhost colon 11434, isn't it? But that won't work because Olama runs on your desktop. So desktop's localhost port 11434 is where Olama is listening. But this Python application is going to run within a Docker container. And there, if you access localhost, that will only be within the Docker container. That is not what we want. We want it to access the Olama that is running outside. So for this, this is the parameter that we need to use for the API endpoint. Clear? So now we build. So I have the build script. So docker build olama python app. I have already created the image so this will be completed quickly. So the image has been created. Now we, in order to run this, what we need to do is we need to execute like this or like this. We need to pass the olama host as the environment variable. Okay, so let's run it. So when you add 3 to 2, the result is 5. So here we saw a way of using Python to access your local model. Clear? So we saw three ways. Now the fourth way is very interesting. There are hundreds of web interfaces created by techies around the world to run Olama local models or even remote models. One of the applications that I'm going to show is Open Web UI. Okay, so before that, Olama PS to see the running, uh, and I will stop Olama stop 
file four. Okay. So no model is running now within Olama. Now what we will do is we will go to a folder where I have already cloned the open web UI repo. So in order to run your own web interface like ChatGPT, all you need to do is visit this URL to see the details, but you only need to run one command. That is it. So in my case, it will give error because th that container is already running. Localhost 3000. So localhost 3000 is the port which is mapped to the containers port. Okay, so then you have access see here from this drop down all the Olama models are available and you can also add your own remote cloud based models like open AI etc. So here I have selected 54 latest and let me ask what is 2 plus 2. You will notice that my system resources are being used heavily. I am not moving my head even the video recording stalls while it is computing. Okay, so now it is done and this is the fourth way of accessing Olama. Now let me stop Olama PS can show the running model but see see the speed stop 5 4 okay so it is gone clear so we have a very powerful model that can be run without any subscription you can build your automation you build all your experiments around it locally on your desktop and use docker so that you have a portable environment so the python application that you are building is portable across machines so as much as possible build your applications like this within container so all the best please like share and subscribe see you again with another video like this